Hi, hello, welcome all once again back to Ask a Friend series from the Simplified Parenting with Emotionally Healthy Child podcast show and I'm your host Suhasini. How are you all? Let's uh, start out today's podcast show with an uh, imaginary role play. Let's move on to situation one. Let's imagine one day you go to work and your boss calls you and starts scolding you in a very high-pitched voice for a mistake in the work that you had submitted uh, the previous day. He's calling in front of all your colleagues and he started calling you all names, saying you're a useless fellow, you are uh, good for nothing, you will never change, I cannot have any trust hopes on you, I cannot trust you, blah, 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 blah. Okay? What's your feelings in this situation? Just keep those feelings to a side. Now let's move on to the second situation. You wanted to have a very cozy uh, weekend dinner with your family and you cooked a lavish dinner with multiple dishes, prepared them with all your love and care and you had l- l- lighted the candles, you sp- uh, spread the room freshener in the room and then you call your pa- uh, family, your pa- partner and kids. All of them came and sat. You were expecting a very happy, cozy, comfortable dinner with your family. Suddenly, your partner changes his face. Because he or she, maybe your wife or your husband, doesn't like the taste of one particular dish. He starts changing his face, he starts mumbling, uh, um, I mean, talking all expletives and all. Finally, his uh, anger rises to the peak that uh, your partner throws the dinner plate to the ground. What would be your reaction? Now, let us talk about both uh, the, uh, your feelings in both these two situations. Will you try to go back to work with that boss again in the situation one? Or would you like to see his face, step into the office once again? You feel like you've been become a big scapegoat in situation one where everybody started will start laughing at you the moment they see you in the office back again, isn't it? In situation two, you would lose all your self-esteem, self-confidence, and you don't really think that you're uh, uh, you're loving a family who doesn't even reciprocate their love, and you feel un I mean uh, not valued person in that family and all the stuff. Would you like to really go ahead living with that partner? Okay, okay. Now I can understand and read your thoughts that are going in your brain, my dear friends. This is Ask a Friend series in parenting and why am I talking all these two different situations and the feelings, anger, all those things, isn't it? No, I'm just coming to the very same parenting issues only. Recently, most uh, some of the uh, my clients have come to, come to me for consultation about the rude behavior in the tweens and teenagers. They were worried because suddenly all this rude behavior started cropping up in their kids, which they haven't seen till now, and what to do, how to rectify it, who are the, what's the so-called reason. Now, shall I divulge you a little secret? If, If I tell you that we, the adults, are responsible for this rude behavior, which we are seeing in tweens or teens, won't you be shocked? Now, let us get those two, uh, move to another role play or uh, rewind back to certain uh, your, your, the time when you spend uh, as a parent in the house. Your child has a lot of homework. You're sitting down with him to help, uh, help him do his homework. Suddenly, he makes a mistake in the multiplication tables. Let us say fourth or fifth one. Immediately, you lose your cool, start shouting at him, saying, Why can't you understand how many times did I teach you this multiplication table? Don't you know this much? You, you are such a grown up boy, don't you know? You don't even have memory, you are good for nothing, blah blah blah. And you might even start throwing the book on his face, isn't it? You start yelling at him at the pitch of your voice. In some other day, on in a, some in a school that is different or maybe a child's school, one teacher is yelling at the top of her voice in the school because the assignments submitted by the students have some mistakes. Instead of explaining the mistakes, she started throwing books on the f- kids' faces. So these are the number of instances which the kids encounter day in and day out. We adults think that we are adults, we know everything, we are mature enough and we have a crown on top of our head saying we are parents so we can let kids, beat them, do anything, isn't it? Now, 
then how can we expect our kids to become respectable i mean uh, behave in a very good manner without any rudeness be polite when we are not teaching them how to be polite agreed we all have some work or even me i as a parent have a lot of multiple works that i need to juggle around and help the kids when i lose my cool which often happens i kind of tell them in a soft and stern voice but even when i don't do it when i lose my cool completely i start ending at my child then it's how you born with the child at the end of the day matter you tell him yes i lost my cool this is my mistake i should correct it and going forward it will not happen you make a promise for yourself and then you talk to him you born better then child will know yes rudeness is not the thing to carry forward but now what's happening in the current society is that kids take rudeness as granted they think that is the way people have to live and for the kids to get this impression it's we as parents who are responsible for that don't you think uh, this is a valid point my dear friends do think about it let me know oh isn't it time for ourselves to start treating our kids as equal individuals who deserve equal respect once when we start looking at the kids as individual separate individuals and give them enough respect then we will not behave rudely with them and the kids will not take rudeness as granted this is the my thought for this today's podcast show let's meet next time with yet another interesting topic till then stay tuned bye bye